there, welcome to my channel, Mess With Michelle. I'm so glad you're here today and you've decided to click on this video and hang out with me. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome, my name's Michelle. So today's video is very quick, but also very productive. I just share with you a sneak peek in the intro of what to expect in this video. It is hairy, it is scary, it is dusty, and it's dirty. It's been a couple of weeks since I've cleaned the downstairs main level of my house and it's really caught up with me. Over the past couple of weeks, I've been really focusing on the backyard as well as fixing up the front yard for the summer season. And inside of the house definitely went on the back burner. I was doing little tidy ups here and there, but I didn't get down to the nitty gritty, like cleaning the carpets, vacuuming the carpets, or you just saw cleaning the floors. I think this is the first time I've actually had fur balls that turn into tumbleweeds on my floors. So I wanted to be very productive, get everything done on my to-do list completed, and just get this house, as I said, back into shape. So if you are joining me for the first time, and if you haven't already done so, I'd love for you to consider hitting that subscribe button so I can take you on my messy journey. If you enjoy cleaning motivation, how-to videos, as well as DIYs, you're definitely in the right place on this channel. So if you're new here and you're wondering, why do I have so much hair around my house? I'm a pet owner of two dogs, Duke and Buster. Duke is a four-year-old French Bulldog and Buster is a 10-year-old Boston Terrier. And Duke, the French Bulldog, has white hair. It's really thick and it gets everywhere. So I just went in and cleaned the couch where he was sleeping with my Chom Chom, which is a manual pet hair remover for fabric. And this is absolutely amazing. I just recently purchased it and it is on my top 10 effective but small cleaning tools. It works so well on furniture. So if you struggle with pet hair, definitely check it out. I bought mine on Amazon. So one of the things I really wanted to do in the living room was not only dust, but I also wanted to give my area rug a really good cleaning. So I'm gonna be using my Hoover Power Dash Pet Carpet Cleaner a little bit later in this video. So I'm just clearing everything off the floor and start prepping the area to begin cleaning my carpets. So as I'm filming this video, it's just before the Victoria Day long weekend, or we like to call it the May 2-4 long weekend in Canada. It's just one of the names that's really stuck and everyone really refers to this particular long weekend. It's almost like the official kickoff to the summer in Canada. We have long winters here and when the warm weather rolls, rolls around, we definitely appreciate it and we just look forward to having nice summer months ahead of us to enjoy. So having the May 2-4 is a chance for people to start opening up their cottage, taking their boats out of storage and just getting ramped up for the summer. So I wanted to start off my long weekend with a nice clean house. This way I didn't have to worry about cleaning the house on the long weekend. I wanted to enjoy time outside and do some gardening. So definitely kick my productivity into high gear this particular day to make sure everything was completed on my to-do list and I got the house clean.
So I wanted to get my area rug cleaned in my living room because it's just a very light colored rug and it just collects a lot of dirt. Having the two dogs running in and out of the house, especially with just putting new topsoil on the grass outside and seeding, there's definitely a lot more dirt around the house than usual. And having a cream colored area rug plus the dogs and dirty paws and just heavy foot traffic does not mix really well. So I've been eyeing cleaning this area rug for quite some time, but I haven't gotten around to it. So I really wanted to get it done into today's video and I'm really happy that I did because I'm definitely going to share with you the results of what I extracted from my carpets. And here you have it, the results from my carpet. It is dirty, it is filthy, but it's just so satisfying when I know all that dirtiness is off my area rug. So this is the front foyer area rug and there is a huge stain in the far corner that has been sitting there for way too long. There is a lot of traffic coming in and out of the house. However, it is just one of those things that has gotten away from me and it just has been accumulating. So I really have to go in to give this area a really good deep clean. So I'm just going in with my Dyson, giving the area rug a really good vacuuming. And then I'm gonna go in with my Hoover Power Dash once again and just clean out this nasty old stain. So here's the dirty water results after cleaning my front foyer area rug and I have to say that water is once again filthy. I like to say that's the dirtiest water in today's video but wait till you see when I use my Bissell Crosswave Cordless Max on my tile as well as my hardwood floors. Definitely pretty gross but once again very unusually satisfying to know that all that dirtiness is off the floor and now the floors are clean so stick around for that. So now I'm just going in and I'm just tidying up my downstairs front hallway closet. And if you haven't caught my video that I posted back in September, Bobby and myself did this renovation together and it's an open concept DIY closet with shiplap as well as a floating bench. So if you're interested in seeing how we achieve this look, I'll leave a card up above on the screen so this way you have a link to the video to see the beginning to end process.
Now I'm going in with my Bissell Cross Wave Coreless Max to mop my floor. So the Bissell Cross Wave is a vacuum as well as a mop so you can do both at the same time. I did use my Dyson a bit earlier to vacuum the floors because I did have to go underneath the TV stand because it Bissell Crosswave isn't able to go underneath and suck up any large debris, so the Dyson vacuuming was just an extra level of cleaning and vacuuming, definitely with all the hair that I had in this living room, definitely need that because there was so much hair around, so having vacuuming as well as the Crosswave definitely did the trick to get these floors nice and clean. So before I go in and finish cleaning the rest of the floors in the hallway in the kitchen, I just wanted to give the kitchen a light tidy up. I'm usually pretty on top with cleaning the kitchen just because it is an area that I spend a lot of time in. So I really didn't have to go down and do a really good deep clean in this area. Just really do a surface tidy up, clean off the countertops and put a few dishes away. Here is a duke for tumbleweed underneath the kitchen table and my floors look very deceiving. You think they look really clean but when you get down to the nitty gritty and you really look, they are completely filthy and just loaded with dog hair. The cream colored tiles really hide the light dog hair but when you go into the hallway and the hardwood floors that are really dark, it definitely really stands out.
So here's a shot of the Bissell Crosswave dirty water tank and I told you my floors are deceiving because that water is dark and it is filthy and there's definitely a lot of hair collected inside but I'm so satisfying knowing that the floors are finally clean. So since the floors were the grossest part of my house I just wanted to share with you some before and afters to show you the satisfying results of just cleaning the floors and how much nicer and cleaner the house feels once this area is finally officially clean and dog hair free. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and seeing the super satisfying results after cleaning my floors. So if you did, make sure to give this video a like on your way out. And just a reminder, I upload every Sunday, so I'll see you next week when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.